And now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It is 643 and you're going to want to keep the umbrella nearby today. Still looking at a few rain showers from time to time after a pretty active weekend with some rain showers both Saturday, Sunday. Those winds certainly picking up and I do think our winds will be sticking with us for today and for your day tomorrow as well. So this is a look right now in downtown Yakima. That is all powered by people for people. Dry start in the Yakima area, but where we have some wet weather this morning, you can see that line of some light rain showers from Moses Lake, Othello, and even down into portions of the Tri-Cities this morning, looking at just maybe a sprinkle or two. Again, Benton City, Richland this morning, and just to the north of Kennewick, looking at some light rainfall. But the majority of the area will see a lot of dry time today. The most, uh, the higher chances of some wet weather will be further up toward north along that frontal system. So if you're going to be traveling, for today. At least our snow level is looking better compared to what we had over the weekend, actually rising throughout the day today, near 7,500 feet by later on this afternoon and this evening. So not looking at any travel restrictions if you're going to be heading back through those mountain passes today, mainly just looking at some heavier rainfall from time to time back through the Cascades and even over parts of Washington and down, down into Oregon. So more soggy weather ahead over uh, the Pacific Northwest. But here's future cast. Let's time our rain chances out locally. You'll see here by lunchtime today. Just a few rain showers popping up from time to time. That will continue through later on this evening and even overnight tonight. We'll have just a slight chance for a stray shower or two as you get ready to hit the road tomorrow morning. And then we're finally going to dry things out. Actually, we'll have a change in our weather pattern, a more quieter weather pattern moving in back to plenty of sunshine, not only on Tuesday, but even as we move into Wednesday, you'll see that time clock taking us out through Wednesday afternoon. Just going to be a beautiful looking day as well. Temperatures, though, we're actually going to uh, watch these numbers climb up above average on Tuesday at 72. Numbers dip back down on Wednesday and Thursday into the low 60s. 70 degrees on Friday and then down back into the 50s uh, for that upcoming weekend. So almost a roller coaster ride with these numbers as we head throughout your work week. Now, speaking of temperatures right now, most spots sitting in the 40s are cold spot. Yakima, you're at 35 degrees. We're expecting winds to pick up still over the next couple of days. Today could be between 10 to 20. And then tomorrow, as we get that system out of here, those winds for your Tuesday could be up to about 30 miles per hour. So last two days uh, with these winds. Temperatures this afternoon, 59 in Toppenish and Yakima with 51 in Cleelum. 62 in the Tri-Cities with 62 as well for Hermiston and then up to 60 degrees for Walla Walla and also for Pendleton. So we'll have just a few rain showers overnight tonight. Those winds will start to turn or continue to be breezy. Numbers falling through the upper 40s and low 50s. Seven day forecast. There's the return of that sunshine Wednesday all the way through our day on Friday. Numbers going back up near 70 on Friday. Just a few more clouds on Saturday and it will be a little bit cooler of the weekend there in the mid to upper 50s. And then here's that seven day forecast for Yakima. Breezy day tomorrow. Still a few rain showers early in the morning. Back to plenty of sunshine through the end of the work week with a high 65 on Friday.